All right, um, now part C has multiple parts. So use your graph to estimate the median finishing time. Okay. So to do that, we want to cut our total in half. So we did 69 divided by two. You know, come on your calculator and just do 69 divided by two. So we get 34.5. Um, so whatever the 30, um, oh wait, sorry, that's not how we do it. If we want to know how many, uh, yeah, so the 35th or 35th person, um, let's see. So essentially like the 35th person um, finishing the race is where we're going to look. So um, we're going to go right here. And see where we go down here. Now, my graph's not super precise. So this is 34.5. So right here is 34.5. Going over to the graph and going down to see right here. So right here would be 52, so I would say 153, based on my graph. Um, so 153 minutes. Now, um, if you look at theirs, they got 154.5 minutes. Um, I'm not sure how they got it so precise from their graph, but they have a more precise graph than me. So the idea is just to go over here and down here. Now, if this is on a quiz, I'm going to grade you based on your graph, not like a key of answers. Okay, so don't worry about it. I got a slightly different answer. That's fine. Um, two, we want we want to use the graph to estimate the number of competitors who finished in less than 155 minutes. So we're going to go to 155, which would be about here, and then go over. All right, that's just below 50, so I would say 49, maybe. Um, once again, that's a much different answer than they got, but I would say 49 runners. Because on my graph, that's what it looks like. If you have a really precise graph, then you can get a really precise answer like they got. Now part three on C, percentage of competitors who took more than 159 minutes to finish. So 159, it's going to be like right here. Going to go up to there. All right, I would call that 58 runners, but we want the percentage. So we're going to say 58 divided by 69. Oh wait, sorry. 58 were slower. We want, um, that took more than that. So we're going to have to say 69 minus 58 to figure that out. So 69 minus 58. So we get 11. And then we want to know the percentage of that. So we're going to say 11 over the total, which is 69. And so that's about 16% if we round that to the nearest percentage. Actually, let's round it to um, three significant figures. So we'll do 15.9. Once again, I'm getting slightly different answers in the book because we're doing this from a graph. And based on my graph, that's how those numbers are coming coming up. But um, if you look at their graph and their explanation, you can see they're doing the same thing that we're doing. It's just their graph is more precise. Okay, now the last part, 
um, we want to use the graph to estimate the time taken by a competitor who finished in the top 20% of runners completing the marathon. So the top 20%, so if we say uh, 69 times 0.2, um, let's figure that out first. So that's 13.8. <clears throat> and so we want the first, um, let's see, let's read it one more time. Time taken by a competitor who finished in the top 20%. So to be in the top 20%, you have to be, um, so we want to start with like a 14 on the cumulative frequency. And so if we're right here, we're gonna be in this range right here, like where this 20 is, so over here. Um, and the amount that's actually in there is nine, right? Now we're at 11, so we're only using up three of those. So we're only using up two thirds of that nine. So that's kind of confusing, right? So these first eight are used up, another three are used up, so that gets us to 11. And so to get to our 14, we have three more to use up, but there's nine that finished in this range. And so to estimate that, we're only using three of the nine. And so three out of nine is going to be um, one third that we're using, if that makes sense. Two thirds are going unused. So if we use one third of that, um, we're gonna, say it's going to be like 150 and 230 or something, blah, 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 but I, 151 should be a good enough um, estimate on that, okay? And so 151 minutes would be a good estimate because it needs to be in this range, but it needs to be like the first part of that range. If you have additional questions, please come to Math Lab. Until then, calculator.